Using an automotive lift is something that automotive professionals do on a daily basis. But when was the last time the lifts in your shop were inspected by a certified inspector? Or that you received some kind of training in their maintenance and usage? Well, today I've got a few tips for you on both topics and you can put them to use right away. Inspect your lifts daily and have them inspected by a certified inspector annually. Make sure they are free of worn or damaged parts and that all the components are working properly. If repairs are needed, use only factory approved replacements and do not use the lift until the repairs have been made. Never bypass the safety systems on the lift. Always make sure that when you raise the vehicle, you raise it high enough to engage the safety locks and then lower the vehicle until it settles on those locks. Never use the vehicle lift to lift anything it wasn't designed to. This means you have to keep in mind not only the weight capacity of your lift, but the wheelbase capacity of your lift. And now this might come into play also when you have a customer, say, with a three-quarter ton pickup, but he's a contractor and he's got all of his tools, all of his spare parts loaded up in the bed of the truck. Well, this can add significantly to the weight and also cause a shift in our next topic and that is the center of gravity. The vehicle's center of gravity must be considered prior to lifting and while making your repair. For example, if you're going to be removing components while the vehicle is in the air, that may cause a critical shift in the center of gravity. Also, like the vehicle we just described, attempting to lift an overloaded commercial vehicle that may have drastically shifted the center of gravity from where its normal point should be. And of course, when you're driving the vehicle either into the lift stall or out of, make sure that there is no obstructions in your way. No people, no tools, and certainly don't drive over the lift arms. Only lift the vehicle using the lift points that are authorized by the manufacturer. You can find this information in your service information system of choice. Make sure that when you raise the vehicle, those lift contacts are secure and stable and never use any kind of other object like a wood block or something to make up any difference in spacing. When raising the vehicle, begin by raising it just enough to take the weight off of the wheels and then gently rock the vehicle to ensure it's stable. Then raise just a bit more than the working height desired and lower onto the lift safety locks and never raise the vehicle with anyone inside the passenger compartment. Prior to lowering the vehicle, ensure that the area under and around the vehicle are clear. Then raise the vehicle slightly to take the load off of the locks, release the safety locking mechanism, and lower the lift. Your lift will take care of you as long as you take care of your lift. What that means is inspect it daily, maintain it properly, and use it in accordance with the lift manufacturer's guidelines. Thanks for watching.